uh, was asked to make a video on sorting these numbers with powers or sorting numbers with powers. <clears throat> I've already made a video about powers and how we can look at it as 1 multiplied by the number so many times and then the properties of powers. So here the idea is to basically apply the property of powers. So if you want to really compare numbers ideally you need to express them with the same base. Yeah, so this one will work, this one will work, this one will work because they can all be written in terms of 2 to the power of something. This one will not work. So we'll have to see what to do about this. So first we'll just do the ones that are easy. So 8 is of course 2 to the power of 3 and that is to the power of 100 which means 2 to the power of 3 is multiplied to 100 times. So this becomes 2 to the power of 300. So this is straightforward. So this is being expressed 2 to the power of 300, clearly smaller than that. Yeah. This one also straightforward. This one of course very straightforward. It is just 2 to the power of 600 and we are done. And this is 2 square. So we have 2 square raised to the power of 400. So that's <coughs> 2 to the power of 2 times 400. That's 800. So these I can compare but this one I can't and <coughs> well <coughs> with the mathematics the children know they won't know how to express 3 as a power of 2 right the log of 3 to the base 2 you could have used but that we can't use here. So that's not the common factor we can do it then we approach it an entirely different way we basically approach it to the powers and we say okay how about we just compare everything to the power of 100. So I use 8 to the power of 100 and then I use 3 to the power of 5 to the power of 100 right and I use 4 to the power of 4 <coughs> to the power of 100 and 2 to the power of 6 to the power of 100. Okay so now it's only a question of the numbers that are inside that will determine that will determine how big or small a number is okay so then it's like 3 3 cube is 27 3 power 4 is 81 3 power 4 81 times 3 that will be this number which is 81 times 3 so that is 3 so that's 243 to the power of 100 so 100 will write in red it's common <clears throat> so that's clear. Now 4 to the power of 4. 4 square is 16. 16 square is 256. So that's 256 to the power of 100. And then 2 power 6. So this was of course 8 to the power of 100. Nothing to be done here. <clears throat> and this is 2 to the power of 6. So 2 cube is 8, so 8 times 8, 64, so 64 to the power of 100. So now we have very clear rankings. This is the smallest, this is the second smallest, this is the third smallest, this is, well, this is the largest. And there we go. <clears throat> so if you cannot approach it in one way, you start looking at the powers. That's the trick here. So in each question you need to be looking at, can I find something common here, can I find something common here.